Okay, in this video, uh, I'm just going to show you how to review and grade in Griffi. Um, I can't, obviously, I can't show you everything in Griffi because we'd be here all day. But uh, this is just a very short video on how to review and grade uh, your material. So it is the case that I opened up before, and they're all in um, the uncategorized category. Uh, when you click on these categories, it automatically tries to filter just for that category, but obviously it's telling us that we haven't got any files there. So let's go back to clear all filters, go back to uncategorized. And one of the um, common things that you can do is um, filter out between pictures and videos and your filter uh, options are here, like a little funnel. So if I just click on that, yeah, on that there, Griffi's got some very good uh, inbuilt filters that make you uh, that make it easier to, to grade so again um, you can have the uh, file type file size let's click on here file type so if we just wanted to have a look at the videos just apply that and it'll, it'll bring up all the uh, videos uh, one of the things that you may notice that it says seven there, but we've only got six. That because that's because it's uh, kind of stacked uh, two of the same videos, so you only have to grade it once, and it will um, do both of them for you. Another brilliant feature in Axiom, which I really liked, was the uh, ability to preview videos. So um, you can actually ho hover your mouse over the uh, the clip and depending how fast you move the mouse determines how fast you can preview the video again really good for reviewing videos quick time in order for you to make an assessment on uh, the category or uh, if further reviewing needs to take place let's get rid of that again it tells you how many numbers are uh, the quantities of each number so here it's telling us that there's 13 files that are uh, between 0 and 5 kilobytes so again you could probably look at that uh, have a look at all them and say yeah that they're all irrelevant so what you can do is do a control a which highlights them all and then if I just go back to the classification here so how you grade uh, one of the ways how you grade in Griffi is simply by selecting the images and videos that you can see and then pressing the relevant category number so I've selected all these and I want all these to be ignorable I can just press 8 and they will all go into the ignorable now if you remember uh, there was 13 that was showing but it's actually graded 34 and that's because there's uh, uh, multiple visual copies so you don't actually have to grade 34 times it, it does some of the work for you if we go back to our uncategorized again now which remembered that we've got the 0 to 5 filter on but we've done all them so if we take that off it will go back to uncategorized and then we can start working our way down you know we can do a bit of sorting as well so we could sort for example by file size and you can toggle it between which way um, it goes so if we want it to do uh, descending so now we've got our largest um, files at the top and the smallest ones at the bottom so if we go back to ascending where smallest is at the top you know it tends to be that the smallest videos are, are, are the uh, ignorable ones so we could say we could have a quick preview down here and say right okay um, these 12 here so what I did there instead of pressing control A I selected that held down shift and then selected where uh, I knew that they were all ignorable Selected them all again. Press eight, and we'll go in there. Go back to uncategorized, and you can keep working uh, your way down. There's a, uh, a setting here at the top, right? Uh, there's some extra settings here, thumbnail settings. 
so th there's an option where as soon as you categorize it will get rid of it so um, if we enable this so if we go back to uncategorized and then we say right these eight here are ignorable if I press eight now they'll automatically go from the screen and go to ignorable and it means that you don't have to keep clicking back and two to go back to uncategorized a few other settings there you can say how many uh, thumbnails you want per page so um, they, if that setting stayed as it would as it was there'd be a thousand pictures and videos displayed here and then you can keep pressing um, you know the back or last page or next or next page so it doesn't display if you had a million pictures and videos it wouldn't it wouldn't display a million pictures and videos here it, it'd do them in thousand chunks and there's obviously a few other settings there like I say go to the Griffi website you'll you'll learn a lot more there uh, another feature as well uh, if you click a picture and you wanted to see a bit more of it if you hover your mouse over it you can then just uh, zoom in or there's a like a, a small zoom in on the picture just to get a bit more detail and then there's some tabs here which show you a bit more information about the picture if there's uh, any exif data let's go back to uncategorized so yeah once you've uh, done all your grading so once all this is zero and all your pictures have been graded in the relevant categories you can uh, click save and then you would export your case back out and uh, obviously there's two here there's other formats that you can do it as well um, in the video regarding pictures uh, or the Griffi integration with Axiom involving pictures obviously we did it with data because we don't need to export the files back out because they're already there you just need the data and uh, so the, these are the various uh, report export um, formats that you can do from Griffi.